I notice that Taiwanese people have very straight toes. Well, one thing I think that's quite funny um, about the Taiwanese people is, um, you know, we live on a small island surrounded by uh, a nice warm ocean, and yet the Taiwanese people don't like to swim. At least they don't like to swim in the ocean. I think Taiwan is at a point in its history that it is trying to figure out who it is. Traveling is so glamorous. So who are you and why are you here? I am Bob. Um, I don't know why I'm here. Um, it's a good place to be though. It's nice and warm. Um, the food is good. People are friendly. It's an easy going lifestyle. What have you learned about the Taiwanese since you've been here? How are they different than uh, Canadians? Well, I've learned that uh, Taiwanese people have an old-fashioned, outdated opinion of Kaohsiung. Um, when I lived in Taiwan in the 90s, um, Kaohsiung was a big and polluted, dirty industrial city um, with oil refineries and ship breaking and all sorts of heavy industry. Um, and it was kind of chaotic as well <laughs> with the railroads running through town and things like that. Um, but those days are long gone. Uh, Kaohsiung is a beautiful place now with uh, light rail and the MRT and a nice harbor and waterfront. Um, a lot of Taiwanese people don't know that because uh, they still have the idea that um, Kaohsiung was uh, is like it was 30 years ago. I've learned that the Taiwanese don't like to open their shops until 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning or sometimes noon. Um, it's a little late, but I get it. <laughs> if you're going to stay open until 10 at night, you don't want to open at 10 in the morning or 9 in the morning. Another thing I've learned about Taiwanese people, uh, which I find kind of um, funny, is that, um, you know, Taiwan is an island. It's surrounded by ocean. And the ocean is actually quite warm, at least it is down here. Um, but Taiwanese people either don't know how to swim, or they don't like to swim. And they certainly don't like to swim uh, in the ocean. Uh, every time I visited a beach in Kaohsiung or on Siqing Island, um, 
you rarely see any swimmers. Whereas if this was in North America and I think Europe, you'd see all kinds of swimmers and all kinds of people sunbathing too. And Taiwanese people don't like to sunbathe either. Um, so maybe the two things go together, I don't know. I also noticed that Taiwanese people have very straight toes. And um, I've noticed this because um, we have the ability to look at people's toes here. So it may be true that Canadians have very straight toes as well. I know that I don't, uh, nor does my daughter, my youngest daughter, who we were talking about this. But you get the opportunity to see Taiwanese people's toes because um, they uh, sometimes wear sandals and flip-flops and uh, shower slippers. Um, and every time now I just have to look and I always notice that they have very straight toes. So uh, if you don't have straight toes, uh, put it in the comments below and tell me um, how straight your toes are. I'll take a picture of my toes and show you here. Interview style videos seem to be very popular with Taiwanese people. Why do you think that is? I actually don't know why it is. Uh, it's a very simple format, uh, question and answer. Um, so maybe it's a little bit of that, uh, very easy to understand. Um, but also the content of these uh, interview uh, style videos, they tend to talk about foreigners' experiences in Taiwan and feelings about Taiwan. And why do you think Taiwanese people are interested in what other people think of them? And I think maybe the Taiwanese people are looking for their identity. I think every country goes through a bit of a identity search. I was going to say identity crisis, but it's not a crisis. It's more of a search. So Taiwan has evolved so much in the last 150 years and um, uh, notably in the last 30 years. And I think every country comes to a point where it decides it wants to figure out its identity. And one of the places looking for its identity, I think, is through the eyes of foreigners. So when I booked a hotel, I specifically asked if there was a window in the room. And uh, there is. Not really much of a view though. You can see down the alley to another building. <laughs> this is why I like Taiwan. It's so fun. Okay, so um, who are you and why are you here? I'm Bob, and why are any of us here? So now that you have all these new followers and you've become monetized, how is the channel going to change? Well, I'm going to have to start doing a lot more interview style videos because uh, interview style videos seem to be the most popular kind of videos you can do. Um, they get the most eyeballs, and the most eyeballs means the most money. Really? No. Um, I'm not going to do any more interview style videos because um, this channel isn't about that. This channel is about me and my utopia, which is Taiwan. Um, I know I'd get more views if I did more interviews, but um, I don't. If you want to look at interviews, uh, there's lots of other channels that are doing interviews. So go ahead and look at those. <laughs> and as for monetization, uh, here's how much I made so far uh, in the 10 or 11 days I've been monetized. Um, I'd have to make 100 times more for this to be worthwhile for me in, from a strictly monetization point of view. Um, even 10 times more wouldn't be enough to encourage me to uh, pander to the algorithms and what the people want to see. This is what it looks like outside the airport. Just like outside every other airport in the world. A lot of taxis, a lot of luggage, the smell of cigarette smoke, buses, Trolleys. 
a lot of people hanging around looking at their phones. Airports are the bus stations of our generation. So who are you and why are you here? Well, my name is Bob and I'm here because um, I'm retiring in Taiwan and every winter I come for two or three months. What are some unexpected things you've learned since you become a YouTuber? I learned that um, being a YouTuber is a lot of work. Um, I really have a new respect for um, all of the YouTubers who can do this uh, for a living. Uh, it's not as easy as going out with your camera and talking shit for 20 minutes and then uploading that to YouTube. Um, if you're going to do that, you're not going to be a successful YouTuber. The other thing I've learned is that we always think that we are unique. Um, and we are unique, uh, but we're all unique in the same way. <laughs> we have a lot of similarities, uh, is what I'm trying to say. Um, like retiring, um, the food we eat, the thoughts we have. Um, we're not as unique as you might think. So there's a certain amount of connectedness I've uh, come to appreciate with making YouTube videos and um, the comments uh, I've received and the conversations that I've had because I make YouTube videos. And that's that was unexpected. I didn't expect to, to get that kind of feedback and connection and interaction with people. And I think that's probably the best thing. Just the interaction I have with uh, people when I make a video about something. I also learned that there's an aspirational nature to uh, the watchers of YouTube videos. Um, and I kind of knew this already, but we watch for a reason. Um, uh, we aspire for something. Um, I've learned that uh, there's lots of uh, overseas Taiwanese who um, miss Taiwan. Uh, so they watch uh, Taiwan videos to to cure their homesickness for Taiwan. Um, uh, because I've talked about retirement a few times, uh, I've learned that a lot of uh, people uh, are thinking about retiring and how to retire and maybe retiring to Taiwan. Um, I've learned things in the comments as well. Uh, if you talk about your favorite breakfast place, people will give you some more suggestions of other favorite breakfast places which is nice um, and I've learned um, a little bit more uh, Mandarin as well um, because I'm doing my own subtitles um, and I'm doing it through Google Translate um, I have to check and make sure it looks accurate um, and to a large degree uh, it is um, Sometimes Google Translate is wrong and I can fix it, and sometimes it's wrong and I can't, I, 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 don't, I don't catch it. Um, but it's good for my uh, character recognition, so I've learned a little bit that way. As a hobby, it's a wonderful hobby because it's got a lot of different aspects to it. Um, uh, it's, it's reflective for me, um, it's active, it gets me out and doing things. Uh, it's good for my Mandarin skills. Um, and it's a nice connection with uh, other people through comments. You know, one of the things I like about living in Taiwan is it's uh, challenging. It's challenging. Not like running a marathon or like painting a mural. It's challenging, not even like running a half marathon or painting a picture. It's, it's challenging, like, in the sense of, like, everything's just a little bit more difficult than it should be. And that makes it fun. Yes, check out this art. This is Taiwan in a nutshell. You always say that living in Taiwan is fun. 
Um, what's so fun about it? Well, Taiwan is a very fun place for me to live. Um, I enjoy the challenge of Taiwan and the struggle. Everything's just a little more difficult, like you know, even buying train tickets and uh, uh, getting a meal. Uh, it's just a little bit challenging, um, which is fun. Um, it's also a fun place because you th see things that are fun, like uh, a whole family on a scooter, um, a dog waiting for the light to turn green so it can cross the street. Um, the monkeys uh, in Monkey Mountain are fun. Um, just little things that are different are fun. Like um, uh, the other day I went into a gas station and they're selling expensive whiskey. You'd never see that in Canada, so that's fun. Um, that's what I mean by living in Taiwan is fun. There it is. So, um, <clears throat> if you don't read Chinese at least as well as I do, which isn't very well, but I can read this, the last two characters of this little toothpaste says Byron, which is white people. Uh, it's funny um, because they used to have this toothpaste that, um, gee, how do I say this? You said this toothpaste. Oh, I can't even say it. <laughs> Look it up. I love it that you can walk out of the airport into the hot, humid, tropical night. Dun 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 d